Uh, the chart shows the number of boys and girls in Miss Martin's class. Miss Martin's class. Miss Martin asked Ashley and Jonathan to find a ratio related to the chart. Ashley gave the ratio of eight to, eight to twelve, and Jonathan gave the ratio of eight to twenty. You're asked to document, explain with why both students are correct, then give a third ratio and explain how your ratio relates to the class. Okay. Actually, the counted up the boys and it was eight. And then she counted up the girls and it was 12. And Jonathan did was, he did the boys to the total. So it was eight to 20. Okay. So, so. What was eight to 12? Eight to twelve was Ashley, and she did the boys. She counted up the boys, and then she counted up the girls. Okay, and then so <laughs> so how how Jonathan? You actually already explained that one. You explained why they were both correct. Mm -hmm. So you did that. What about the third ratio? Okay. I did was I counted up the girls and I got 12 and then I did 12 to 20 because 20 is the total. Wait, you know? oh, okay. um, all right, so 12 to 20 is what? The total. 12 is the girls and the 20 is the total. So girls to total. Okay, so check that off. This is the strategy you should be using on writing about math. Check them off as you go. All right, what about this? You explain how that relates to the class. Mm -hmm. Girls to total. Simple as that. Um, is this an explanation though? No. no. This needs to be in a sentence. That's it. I'm kind of abbreviating it. You should just say 12 girls to 20 total students. That's all. And then same thing, uh, where did it say explain? Um, explain why both are correct. Same thing right here. Boys to the total. And then the other kid said boys to girls. So that would be a two pointer. Okay. You need to get that down in a sentence. I